Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making two farmhouse clocks using Dollar Tree products. They are super simple and easy to make, so let's go ahead and get started. So for our first project, I'm actually using Apple Barrel Paint in white, and I am actually going to paint the entire inside of my pizza pan white. And I am going to do two coats. So I'm going to paint this inside and then let that dry quickly and then do once more so I have a nice even coating of white once I'm done. So once the paint had dried, it was time to add our border. So I am just using Apple Barrel Paint in black and going all the way around the edge. Now I do recommend for the edges to use a sponge brush um, just because the bristle brushes they always seem to leave marks and you don't get a nice clean edge. Um, it's super simple, super easy and I think that's the best way if you're going to make a, some type of edge with it. And once you're finished with that you'll just let it dry. So once the paint had dried, it was time to add my numbers. So I picked up these Jot stickers from Dollar Tree and they didn't have any black ones that I could find. So I just took a Sharpie to them and painted them black. And then I decided to add the three, the six, the nine, and the 12, just to make sure that I had all of my numbers even all the way around. It kind of gave me a little bit of a template to make sure that they were evenly separated. And once I was done with that, I just went all the way around with my numbers. Now, if you want to make this a real clock, I will link the link down below. Walmart actually sells a clock kit that you can use and it has the arms and the switches and everything and you would just add batteries to the back of it and you can make this clock actually work but I'm using Dollar Tree products and using this just as decor. But you can always make this a real clock and poke a hole in the middle and get this working. And once I was done with that, all I had to do was paint my wooden dowels and glue these on. And I just use a little bit of hot glue to place these on. And I think this is a great idea if you have a certain date and time of a special occasion, you can put this on your wall. Now for our second project, I am using the Apple Barrel Paint in Territorial Beige. And I am going to be doing the same thing. I am going to be painting the entire inside of the pizza pan and I am going to let the first layer dry and then add a second coat and let that dry also. Super simple and easy and looks really, really nice for farmhouse decor. I love this color. So next, I actually went on Google Images and I found this really cool clock template. So I am going to be using this. And I also had some wooden contact paper left over that I thought would go great with this project. And so you're just gonna wanna cut out your clock all the way around and just try to be sure to have clean edges. Um, I was a little funky on that. I did my best though. And um, once you're done with that, you'll make actually a bigger circle out of the wooden template, which my circle came out a little funky, but it works. Um, I didn't really have anything to go off of to make a bigger circle, but it'll work. So next I am going to add my border. I am going to be using the same Apple Barrel paint in white and I'm going all the way around the border. And again, I'm still using the same sponge brush to get those nice clean lines. Um, and if you feel like you can kind of still see the metal through, it's up to you. You can leave it that way or you can go over it with a second coat. I personally just did one coat and I thought it looked nice. Once everything had dried, it was time to add your wooden contact paper and you will just try to center it the best you can and smooth out all of the bubbles. 
And what I love about contact paper, it is forgiving if you have little air bubbles in there. And now for my clock template, I am actually using Mod Podge and I am just painting it on the back all the way around. Make sure you get those edges so you don't have any kind of peel up all the way around. And then you'll just flip that over and carefully press that down right in the center. And once you're done with that, as you can see, I'm just using a scissor to make a little notch in my wooden dowel. And I actually broke it on the corner of the table. That worked really well. And then I'm just painting it black and letting that dry. And last but not least, we are just using a little bit of hot glue and placing our wooden dowels down and we are finished with our beautiful farmhouse clocks. And again, if you are interested in making these clocks work, here is the clock movement kit from Walmart for $5. And this is what it looks like when you are completely finished. I absolutely love how these turned out. They are so simple and easy to make using just Dollar Tree products and a little bit of paint from Walmart but I really, really love how these turned out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.